Alright guys, so we are going to take some C notes on plate tectonics. A lot of this stuff we've kind of already talked about and you should have realized in your research on Friday, but we're going to go over things and hopefully by the end of this PowerPoint you'll be able to answer all your questions from today's um, lab over plate tectonics. So here is a map of the Earth's crust divided into what we call plates. See the uh, seven major plates, you have the North American plate, the Pacific plate, the Antarctic plate, the African, and you can see the boundaries between the two that we call faults. So what causes all the plates to move? Well, we kind of talked about this. The answer is convection. Convection is what happens is when the hot magma rises and cools and sinks, creating a circular motion. We know that as we go farther into the earth, it gets hotter, and so the magma that's near the outer core rises, and then now that it's here far away from the core, it cools off and sinks, creating this circular motion of convection. And this is what allows the plates to move on top of the asthenosphere. So there are two types of crust, and this is something gonna be new, so definitely write this down. There is continental crust, which is what is made up of land, and it is made up of granite, which is very light and a lot less dense. Then you have oceanic crust, which is the crust that is at the bottom of the ocean floor, and it is made of basalt, which is very heavy. So the entire earth is actually, all the crust is divided into two types, continental crust, which is land, oceanic crust, which is the land at the bottom of the ocean. So again, here are our plate boundaries. We have something color code just like this in our journal. And we know that the cracks in these boundaries are called faults. Now let's go into the three types of boundaries. From Friday's research, you were able to discover that there are three types of boundaries. Convergent, when the plates move together. Divergent, when the plates move apart and transform when the plates slide horizontally past each other. So let's go a little bit into detail. So let's talk about divergent. Divergent is defined as when two tectonic plates separate, meaning they move away from each other. This should have been the very first activity that you did in today's lab with the frosting and the um, graham crackers. As they move apart, the magma rises to fill the gap and it cools forming new oceanic crust. So in today's activity, you were supposed to push down on the graham crackers and move them apart. Well, what happened to the frosting, which represents the asthenosphere in the middle? It actually should have risen up to the front. Well, when magma rises to the surface, I mean, think of what magma is. It's nothing but hot liquid rock. So when it rises, it cools off, and it forms into a rock, which makes new crust. So what are some geological features that are made from divergent boundaries? It includes um, volcanoes and new crust. Some examples of this can be found between the um, South America and African plate, and this could be the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, or Iceland are two examples in the earth of where this occurs. So as the two plates move apart, the magma, the asthenosphere, rises up, hits that water, cools off, and makes new crust. So let's go into transform boundary. Transform is when two tectonic plates slide past each other horizontally. Now because plates are not smooth, they're going to grind and jerk as they slide past each other, causing earthquakes. The San Andreas Fault in California is a good example of this. This fault takes place between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate as they are slide horizontally past each other. Here's a picture in California. You can clearly, if you look at this row, see how it's kind of off-centered. That's because one part of the field is on one plate and the other is another. So let's go into the biggest one, which is convergent. Now, because there are, well, let's first talk about what convergent means. It's when two tectonic plates collide, meaning they are moving towards each other. Now, because there are two, th two different types of crust, there are actually three different types of convergent boundary. 
There's when continental, continental collide, which is what I want us to focus on. Continental oceanic and oceanic, oceanic. So when continental, continental crust collide, this was the second activity that we did in our lab today. When two tectonic plates with continental crust collide, they start to buckle and thicken, pushing the crust upward, making mountain ranges, and sometimes causing earthquakes. An example of where this occurs in the earth world are the Himalayan mountains, which is actually between the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate. So as you got the graham crackers wet and then you started to push them together, they were soggy, so they started to buckle and thicken, creating a feature of mountains. Um, you did not do the example of continental and oceanic, which is where they are different densities. Oceanic is always going to be thicker and thinner. I mean, sorry, thinner and more dense. Continental is going to be thicker and less dense. And we'll go into that a little bit later. So here's an example of convergent when you have two plates sliding towards each other. Now notice in this picture, this is showing oceanic crust, and this one is showing continental crust. So this is an example of them converging and creating volcanoes. But when you have two continental crusts collide, it makes mountains. So going into continental, continental boundary again is the one that I want you to really focus on is it creates folds which create mountains. And again, the example of where on the earth this happens is between the Indian plate and the Asian plate, creating the Himalayas. Now, oceanic, oceanic is when you have two oceanic crusts collide, like in this picture right here. See, notice how much thicker continental crust is compared to oceanic. So oceanic crust is this very thin, dense line where continental is this very thick. So when these two push together, it can create trenches, which are very deep valleys in the bottom of the ocean. And it can also form volcanoes like the Ring of Fire, which is found all along the Pacific Island. And it also can make the Aleutian Islands, which are all these island chains down here, up in Alaska. And then the last one is oceanic continental boundary. This is when you have thick continental crust colliding with oceanic. The oceanic plate, because it is more dense, gets pushed underneath the continental crust. And it can also create mountain ranges and volcanoes, such as the Andes Mountains, which is this huge mountain range all down the west coast of South America. And actually from space, see this line right here? That's the trench. That is where the oceanic plate is getting pushed down into the asthenosphere. All right. So I hope that answers all of your questions. I kind of gave you examples of where this happened. If you want to go back to the last one, you know, obviously this is occurring between the South American plate and I think this is the Nazca plate beside it. Okay. So go back, rewind, make sure that for every boundary you know how they move and what geological features are forming from each one, and we'll discuss it tomorrow in class.